Oh shit. What's up, bro? Found some Israelites. What's up? How long you guys been here? I've been here for like 20 minutes. I just started recording. We already gave the people a horror show. We already going in. We in the spirit anyway, man. We in the spirit already anyway. You wanna hold this for a second? Did you, how'd you get up here? Sam? Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I picked him up. Sam, <laughs> you need a couple dollars? I got money in my pocket. I got like caregiver too. I just never stopped. That's why I got 20 bucks. So good. So good. And what you got for? Micah 5 and 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. And I will cut off the cities of thy land and throw down all thy strongholds. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thy hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. And these devils, you know, they come forth and, 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 and talk shit to each other. Ain't nobody gonna stop our military. Ain't nobody's. And these cops, they have so much faith in their guns. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They, what's that? Uh, they, they got the <laughs> that saying, uh, army of one. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, 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 right. They have so much faith in their guns, man. They, 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 they swear it down. Can't nothing stop them, man. But you know what? The Lord is gonna bring it all to an end. Hell, these devils about to come seize oh, yeah. all your guns any damn way. They they starting in New York right now, going after the guns, huh? Uh, Connecticut, to, uh, Connecticut uh, up in Connecticut? Somewhere up in New York. Yeah, you heard about that? They're going after them now. And he just saw an article that the UN is bringing troops, brought troops in now. Yeah, right? yeah, the UN brought troops over here. That's today's news. And it's starting. And shit ain't gonna slow fucking down whether people think shit's gonna calm down or not. Hey, this is heating up and it's getting fast. Things is more and more and more things is happening faster and faster and faster, man. Hell, the CDC just had another leak. They found two valves of uh, some vicious, deadly diseases just sitting on the table open empty. They had some nuclear, uh, some type of nuclear chemicals. Oh, yeah. They missed it down in Mexico. Mexico, and it was um, in Iraq, too. That nuclear missile material whatever plutonium and uranium come missing. Now you're trying to tell me Esau knows what he's doing. And what they call it, um, um, uh, they come with the problem, they create the problem, and then they, they these devil the ones that comes with the solution. Problem, reaction, solution. There you go, yeah. problem, reaction, solution. So they're gonna cause the problem, <laughs> have the fools react, and then they gonna come with their solution. And their solution is to lock y'all stupid ass people up in concentration camps, <laughs> in detainment centers. You gonna see these people come knocking on your door. No, I said knock. Kick the fucking door in. <laughs> get your ass on, get on the bus. Bam, bam, or get on the train. Shit. You know what I mean? That's gonna be the only place to put your ass. Damn right. They gonna put your ass right in that camp. I'll write tickets for these devils. He said, yep. <laughs> The guy who gives parking tickets. He's always down here. He's a cop? No, he's he a rides ticket parking pit. He's a ticket meter. Uh, 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 well, hell, they call them their cops. He looks like a sorry Because they, they write tickets. He's a cop. That's they write all tickets. a cop does is write tickets. They write tickets. That's all the fuck. They ain't fighting no goddamn crime. Yeah, right. They damn sure. They be fighting themselves. They're fighting the crime. Goddamn, the fuck this motherfucker. Yeah, I was going to come and get you, man. Oh, so but then you just texted me. It's like I'm leaving by five minutes, man. We got some brothers down here that they they called me on my phone and said I gave them my number like two couple months ago. We was down here teaching about not eating pork, and they said they'd be here. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a couple of them. I ran into some dude up on Main Street. Said he watches our videos. Okay. Okay. And he was trying to tell me that 12 tribes of Israel is based on the Zodiac. Well, you could easily, oh, you could easily eat that. Eat that. I, uh, yeah, I put put that shit to rest. Right. <laughs> That's yeah, what most like give you uh, little donuts to chew them, those little treats. Yeah. Give you little foods little like that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he knew about a great millstone. Right, right. He was watching G, but he's a he's a scoffer, obviously. Uh, you, you, you mark his ass. <laughs> he was scoffing. Mark his ass with a uh, those marks they was, call it. He didn't he didn't come. He didn't come with a wicked spirit. He's actually kind of cool. somebody they don't know. He, he just wanted to shoot the shit. Right, right. But he. I like that big man. He, he on that some bullshit trying to say the Bible is based on the Zodiac. I like that big man. 
Yeah. You hear that shit all the time, man. Here, let me grab these scriptures. This one like this scripture. I like how the wire just keeps skipping out of my mind. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll do something to her. She be ready to lose weight when I'm done with her. Second Timothy, Second Timothy is two and twenty-four. Let me get this real quick. Get this real quick. Second Timothy is two and twenty-four. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men at to teach. Oh yeah, he had me ready to teach. That's right. That's right. That's the script I was looking for. You know, a lot, of people, a lot of people are ignorant to this truth, man. They've been taught by some fake ass Israelite, you know, who a fake ass Israelite who just say who has the same mind as some uh, uh, pastor or some, uh, 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 you know, some church pastor. Even worse, they got taught by David Ike. Oh Lord, that makes oh, that shit. <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> I mean, you got a lot of that. Oh, you know, David Ike looking bad. Man. He's, oh yeah, uh, he looking bad, man. He got, he got a lot of followers. He don't look too healthy though. He looks scared. Most high fucking him up. Yeah, he looks scared, really, man. He don't look right, too good, man. Right, I give David Ike right, credit. It's all sucked in. Yep, shit. yep, yep. And he'll yep. talk shit about the Jews though, so I give him credit for that. Well, you know, yeah, you know, he give you a little bit of truth. Everybody in their right mind. Everybody in their right mind. Uh, Peter Jew. Except for Alex Jones. Yeah, he, he ain't in his right mind. <laughs> uh, right, he's nuts. That motherfucker ain't nothing but a commercial site. I can't take a commercial site. That's all he is. Too many goddamn yeah, commercials. Uh, Alex Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a commercial site. So, y'all know America's about to be destroyed? How you, how you feel about that? They from Ethiopia. He's got a brother they look, the they look straight like Ethiopians to me. You look like you're about to pass That's out. You got a lot of Israelites in Ethiopia. And, uh, Ethiopia won't, won't even respond if you're talking to them. And Heli Selassie ain't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> he is not an Israelite. <laughs> Heli Selassie is a goddamn heathen. A big weirdo. Hey, cause you got—they try to say Heli Selassie from Ethiopia that he descends from the Queen of Sheba. Oh, oh, that, that, that means he's a heathen still. Cause how, how can you descend from a woman's line? A woman they don't even have a line. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that don't even make any sense. You are who your father is. For him to be an Israelite, he'd have to be the King David. Would have to be his great 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 grandfather. Got a rod. The rod come out. You ask the question. You believe women produce babies? I mean, in vitro is a thing, but you do need sperm. You need to die. That's where the life comes from. The sperm itself. That's where the actual life comes from. The woman itself is an incubator. Don't just to carry it, to feed that baby, to raise that baby. Just to carry it. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not, 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 see, you, you explain this to women, they think you're making light of them. We're not making light of them. It's just how the Lord made things. Where's that, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the Apocrypha. Isn't that Maccabees? Yeah. Actually, is it Maccabees? Yeah, I think it's a Maccabees. It's that's what, when the mom. With the seventh son. That's one thing of another one. Yeah. I can look for it. Here, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, because people don't understand that you are who your father is. It doesn't matter what color you are. Mother. Well, you take on some. Two. Listen, you take on genes from yeah. your mother, but you don't take on the mom's spirit. The spirit. The child comes. receives the father's spirit. That's why you I receive genes. You may look like the mom. You may have the nose, ears, be shaped like her. That's you why know. when the king had a son, his son became king. Right. And that's the proper order. So what order. about those children who grew up in their father? Oh, uh, they're still their well, we have a lot of that these father. days. That's what, that's that's why that's what we were talking about before you got up here. How America in the world is out of order. Because you got independent women, 
so-called independent. We ain't so, that's a, 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 <laughs> now, you, but you know this stereo the nitty gritty. We know this stereotypical really woman truck driver breaks loose. Independent. Well, you been with this? Can you hunt and skin something if you needed to? Well, so well no. you still got to grow things because there's a winter coming. Right? I'm a vegetarian and too. Women can't grow things. Men can't eat. Everybody's self-sufficient on the government. Everybody relies on the government. Yeah, most people think uh, plants come from the store. <laughs> they think that's where they come from. They're made at the store. Well, you know, or, or, well, how many people do you know in this city that have a garden? Well, it's kind of scary, ain't it? No, yeah, there's not very. Go. I haven't seen a single garden in that one of these yards. These people are going to starve to death if they're going to eat their own children. I mean, that is a rare thing, but it's rare. It's just rare. You don't see gardens. Besides, they don't have laws now that you get fined for having a garden. Your own yard that you own your property. But there's laws now. Yeah, they get you a legislation fine. on the boards right now that you can get fined for having a garden now. Hell you can't even park your own car in your grass now and so on it calls the, the city and they come in and write you a ticket. First they give you a warning, then they give you a ticket. Paying fines. You yes. know this place is all about uh uh uh, uh oppression. Uh, op oppression. All about oppression. It's all when about you money. Get in a car and you got to put a seatbelt on. When it's a fact, medical fact that seatbelts kill. Seatbelts keep you from turning up. The well, that's if the car is flipping well, over. But how often do a car wreck and it's flipping over? That's this is rare. extortion. All these cops. It does lose. happen. There, I've known a couple people. Well, well, I've, I've, known, well, I've these, been in one myself. But what he's saying is, <laughs> all the only thing these cops do is drive around extorting people of all their money, taking their money all day. They I don't actually stop cost. crime. Okay. Hey, you know in America. Uh, it's legal to break the Ten Commandments. You can break the First Commandment. You can commit adultery. The Bible says adultery is punishable by death. Dude. But the cops never mess with an adulterous woman. They never mess with homosexuals. They let them walk around free. They, they never harass Muslims. Yeah, they're supposed to get put to death, according to the Bible. That's the Bible. According to the Bible, that was sodomy. thousand years ago. Well, okay, let me ask you. Murder... Mur but the uh, murder. The same. What about murder? Is it okay to murder people? Because why not? That's a thousand-year-old rule. You can't help who someone is. You can't change them. Oh no. You can try. But and nobody change is them. born a it's homosexual. Just oppressing in and of itself, which you're just talking about. Oppression. That's not oppression. To tell someone that they can't be who they are. So what? Who they are. Let me ask you. Who has? Let, who let me ask you a question. Out of what demographic? In America, has the highest rate of STDs. Oh, I found it right here. It's homosexual, people homosexual aren't men. Helping that at all. No, not because they commit adultery. Adultery causes the uh, diseases to be spread also. But homosexuals obviously, obviously, have a higher percentage of AIDS than any other demographic. That's a fact. So they're a threat to public health and safety. There's a reason why the Lord said you ain't supposed to. Go explode another man's anal cavity. Okay, that's unsanitary. Just, just to me, it's not a just to me. Should then marry her. You're right. You're right. That's up. You're right. You're allowed to rape a so woman. You believe that as well because you believe everything. That's Right. I'll get it for you. Now, let me read it for you. You don't. Well, that woman of course. is not any woman, though. That woman is a virgin. Yeah, a virgin. Only. That woman's a virgin. She don't belong to no other man. This so that man rapes point. that woman, and rape so just only means to take. Forces himself on this girl. He humbles her. He humbles her. That's, that's, that's a humbling process. That's a humbling experience for a woman. It's a humbling experience. A humbling. And believe well, it or not, violated. How is that violated? Listen, listen, listen. Um, don't you know one of the one of the one of the fantasy of women? Their number one fantasy is what? To be raped. To be raped. Oh, they and you they don't know that. Well, they, don't they don't hide it though. They don't want to be. They don't raped. hide this though. You don't want to be raped. What you want to no. be? Candlelight yeah, dinner. 
spend a thousand dollars. Women like it rough. I mean, buy you a couple of outfits, hold your baby, and give you send you flowers before I can even get a piece of the ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, babe, we gotta go it. through all that bullshit just to get to know you. That's stupid. That yeah, is stupid. You know someone keeps talking. You can't through having sex. Well, we can conversate. We can come. You look familiar, man. Oh, you both of those. Yeah, those. No. No. No oh man, not this that's, guy. That's pork man. That was, that's, 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 that's your boy, man. <laughs> but listen, listen. Hey, they don't the agree with you. The ancient world was a, the ancient world was a, a manly place. A manly world. It's a man, and that's where this world is handed to again. I mean, you don't see it coming though, but that's where this world is. Well, why do Why do you think we? Hey guys, bro. Why do you think we've lost all of our freedoms today? Because the men have lost that manly spirit. That manly spirit is gone. No, it's not because of women. It's not. It, it, it ain't got nothing to do with a woman. Because a woman, the woman is gonna follow whoever has the power. Okay? Power. So it's really, it really is the man's fault, actually. I got the so the power. a woman is just a follower. Who is that? Okay? Uh, Thundora. No. Uh, everybody knows the ugliest man. As long as he's got a lot of money, he got, he got all kind of good-looking women. The finest women. So if I got some, good looking, maybe not. Smart. If I got some money, some cocaine, some weed, I get all the women I want. That's right. That's a fact. That's a fact. That what is type a fact. of woman you're gonna want? Well, what? Of course, course not. Look at this dude. Look at what it is here. That's just the way it is. Here. Come on, let's be realistic here. Let's not be in denial. That's not good. That's not good dialogue. We keeping it real. That's not keeping. That's not being denial. That's all that's going on here. You ain't know which one of these sorority parties, fraternity parties, cocaine fest. Bootleg society. Yeah, the bootleg. You know about the boule. You know, you know what you gotta do to be part of a fraternity. Yeah. Are you a girl? No. You're an artist. This cool. This cool. What do you paint? What? You paint, draw, pencil. Fashion design. Fashion design. Okay. That's interesting. So, so you see. You can sew. Hey, she, you can make me a garment, couldn't you? You can make me a garment. Well, how did, is this very fashionable? No, you don't like my style, huh? <laughs> Your potato <laughs> sack. Yeah, some See, that's the art that the women lost. They lost the art of cooking, fabric, making being clothes. A, being a lady now period. everybody gets their clothes from the store. Because mm -hmm. before in the ancient world. Well, and I'm just back, saying, for the most part. For the most part, you're right, right. In like my mom was always. Wife made your clothing. Whatever you wanted to wear. The wife yeah. cleaned it. Hey, the my, wife cooked. And hey, my mom made this. You know, right, a woman. A, a woman, woman. You know what I'm saying? That's but that's just, this is the world is going back to this, whether you You're accept it or not. You're just making gender barriers. No, we're not. Why can't a man do all the same things as a, a man? A man can, can, but it's not a manly thing. A man can, can, but it's not a manly thing to be. That's not our job. You're right. breaking. You're it's breaking not. down gender. No, no. What we're telling you, the society's out of order. Look, in America, it's legal to commit adultery. In America, an adulterous woman can have five different babies, daddies. Five. She, I know people with nine different babies. We're conservative. Guys. She can go to court, and the Bible says an adulterous woman's supposed to be put to, to death. But in America, she gets rewarded with child support. No, you want them to get the no we don't, because we're supposed to. We teach forgiveness. We do teach you forgiveness. forgiveness. But we're just telling you the law. The law says if you want to get technical, the punishment for adultery is death. Okay. But in America, they don't. And there's no punishment. You get rewarded. You get child support, section eight, food stamps, alimony. But the only one that's wrong is the woman. No, but for the most part, for the most part, yeah, because they, uh, they, these days they're pushing that the liberal philosophy on everybody, teaching all these women that it's okay to have an abortion. There's nothing wrong with being an abortion. There's nothing wrong with leaving your man. There's nothing wrong with being a lesbian. It's all on TV. It's on all the TV shows. out against the LGBT crowd, your career is over. Okay, because you can't go against that liberal agenda. Let me read this real quick. This is um this is uh, Isaiah 13 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, America's defiled. This is a filthy defiled Listen, all this stuff is going on because there's just no order. There's no order. There is no order. That's only that's the only reason why. Why, all this you, why you think we got so many poor people? So many people going without. All these little kids ain't got no money. Okay, no. Everybody is living week to week. You 
can't even survive out of here. That's the trick. No, that has nothing to do with it. It has a lot to do, no. It has well, society, first of all, is not, it's not engineered so that certain people can prosper. I'm telling you it's something. only for certain people. Right. It's only for men. That they can no, it's only no. for certain nations other than so these you stuck people. on this man and woman thing. Right. It's well, all that's just, how you came at me, so that's kind of what I'm stuck well, on. Well, we're telling you <laughs> that they're breaking <laughs> the laws of the Bible. Gender. No. No. You're a female. Well, actually, yeah, you are a little gender. You're a woman. But you have, you got good quality. You look good. That's a good quality. You're an attractive woman. Yeah. That's it. I mean, I don't know you. That's all I can you say at this moment. You got a little, you got a little savvy too. Yeah. So, so you probably ain't one of these. You probably one of these anyway. She's she going to school for art design. That's a good quality. That's, that's Most of these right. women, they sit at home watching TV. Columbus, for the suburbs, downtown. You grew up there. No, I grew up in Blackwood. Blackwood, okay. okay. What, so where's your people? Where's your ancestors from? You know, you know where your ancestors? Where's Where's your dad from? Your dad's line. You know where they're from? That's why you got a cute little spirit on you, because you ain't grew up around these animals. No. <laughs> you got a different spirit on you. What's, what's, the, animal, spirit? what's the animals Please. in the city? The hyenas. These people. These people. Yeah. Those are the animals that you part of the I'm, 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 I'm an Israelite. I'm an Israelite. But all Israel, like the scripture so why you, so listen, why you the Listen, like the scripture, like the scripture in Romans 9 says that all Israel ain't Israel. And the scriptures talk more shit about Israel than anybody else. That's because the Heavenly Father is disgusted with his people. And he says he chastised his people. He loved them. So he loved them. So Israel going to get it. They're going to get punished. It's like when you love your son, you're going to punch your ass with me. That's right. Point you break. Here you go. Keep going, bro. Come on. Uh, what, what Talk about it? sons. Well, like, get, you, 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 you ain't got kids. Jeremiah, bro. But if you did, you going to have your child kid. speak to you anyway? Four, four, you going to have your child do whatever they want? Hell no. Same thing with the Heavenly Father. He don't allow us to talk the way we want. He don't allow us to do what we want. He, there's like we've been talking about. There is laws. There's, there's order. order. You got to have order. Order. You got order and chaos. But a lot of people right. that's walking around here don't, don't care well, about your Of world course, world. that we live in chaos. A lot of people that's walking around here don't care about your house. That, that's, why, that's why America's called Babylon, the land of confusion. The, the great Babylon, great confusion. This great confusion, 422. Where you at? Where you but at? I'm going to show you what, this is what the Lord said about his people. Okay, okay. You, you might be Israelite too. Let me read this first. This, one go ahead. this is Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Right, just because you're a son of the Most High doesn't mean that, you, uh, that you're a good person. Don't you mean nothing, because these are the wickedest people on this planet Earth. The, the Lord said two-thirds of Israel going to be destroyed. Here. I got that, bro. Hey, oh, you got the song. The chart, yeah. Read Jeremiah, bro. Jeremiah 4 and 22. Let, let, this is what the Lord said about Israel. Listen, to, this is what the Lord said about his people. For my people is foolish. He said, for my people is foolish. They have not known. They have not known. They came in in adultery. They're being faggots, okay? They're breaking every law in the Bible. You, you know what he... You know what cutthroat... What's a faggot? You know what he cutthroats? You know some cutthroats? A cutthroat. A cutthroat is a no good nigga that'll rob your ass for what you got. That's church. Thank you, bro. Thank you. But faggots are supposed to be put to death, though. That's disgusting. I'd be a faggot. Let me ask you a question. What does the word faggot literally mean? Sticks. It's a bundle of sticks. It's no, it's a bundle of sticks. Sexual. And a bundle of sticks is going to get burned up. That's what you do with a fag. Like over in England, they call it a cigarette fag. So it's something that gets burnt fuel for the fire. We're not there. We're in See, right now, you're Maybe. just being emotional because you're emotional. Y'all whistle because you got emotional. You're emotional, right, right? That's why none of the twelve prophets, none of the prophets of the Bible are All the disciples were all men. Because you're emotional because he's so nice to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's so nice to you. Because he's so nice to you. Or her she, because she's cute. You can forgive a person just because he's cute or she's cute. But we don't expect a woman to agree with everything we say. Right. We already know you're not. Don't gotta be taken care of. Which is good. I don't need any. Yes, you do. That's just you saying that. For now, you are. That's just you saying that. That's just you right now. That's just you're not really taking care of yourself. That's right. You're not. Who pays you? Who gives you the money? You create. You write. You create your own money out of thin air. The rest of the script. I have a job. But you're dependent on that job. 
you're dependent on that job right now. That's why we're telling you that in, in, in independence is just an illusion. It's a false illusion. Man is being taken care of these men are the same way. The men are the same way. It wasn't always this way, though. So then how is someone supposed to live if they can't work because then they're working? How are you supposed to live? We, He's we supposed to live right according to his word. Let's read this. Right read now. the word, then. Let me hear the word, though. Right Jeremiah now. 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. You're foolish. You don't know the Lord because you like faggots. Keep going. They are sodas children. Or sodas. Oh, oh, yeah. Sodas means stupid. Keep going. Or sodas children. This is hey, I was one, we was a one-time stupid. I was retarded. All right. of us were. We was all retarded. And they have none understanding. None understanding. They are wise to do evil. Wise to do evil, being a homosexual is evil. Getting doo-doo all over yourself, complaining. Do That's what, what, what do homosexuals do when they have sex? They getting feces all over themselves. I'm sorry, that's, that's foul. That's sick. That's, that's sick. <laughs> it's diminished. It's diminished. It's cause is also disease. Right. Like, uh, like like I'm trying to think of this one though. We always bring it to the same ones like two. It's unsanitary. Like, uh, Damn, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's all good. But uh, read the end of that scripture. They are wise. Hepatitis. Yep. Oh, yeah, hepatitis. Yeah. Gonorrhea. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is not something we're making up. You know, there's reasons why the Lord said not to go in. Yeah, yeah. Even a woman, a man is not yeah. supposed to put his rod inside of a woman's head. <laughs> yeah, behind also. That's but, sodomy, man or woman, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Plus when a plus man it's unhealthy. And when a man drinks all that sperm, plus a woman too, it causes a chemical imbalance in their brain. That's a fact. When a woman when listen, listen, this is a scientific fact. When a woman takes in multiple different sperms inside of her from different men, it causes a chemical imbalance in her brain. That's right. And that's why a lot of these women are, are crazy, they're mad. No, but a man can go around to several different that's yes, not just several. Men, well, men go way, because Solomon dealt with a thousand women. As so, long as those women, there's a law behind this. As long as those women don't belong to another man. Right, you can't. So as long as they're virgins? Well, well yeah, they, they got it. Well, yeah, technically. But in this world, you ain't going to find no virgins. They, they, in this they, world. That's messed up, though. That's the most high. Like, if you're doing the work, if you're trying to do the work, if you're trying to rehearse a righteous act, they'll forgive you for being with a woman. Yeah, they'll forgive you for that. They'll forgive the woman, Other men, I mean, like I said, like I said, It's called Babylon. That means confusion. You can't justify this madness. There's no justifying it. No, it doesn't matter. You know, in America, they don't even keep the Sabbath in this country. They make your ass work seven days a week. The city just never shuts down. But the Bible said you're supposed to have a day of rest. There is no day of rest in America. Mm -hmm. And so it's proof this is the land of slavery. Hell, that's good on that. Uh, get a. Where was you at? Where was you at? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah, he most <laughs> you know what? And the funny thing is, the Bible says, are you my enemy because I tell you the truth? People don't want to hear the truth because sometimes That's the bad. truth hurts. Nah, they most nine and eight. They offend, it gets offensive to people. The Bible is an offensive book to the wicked. Well, especially the way we teach it because we come straight with it. We ain't bullshit with you. It ain't Have you talked to one of these homosexual Christians? They don't know any scriptures. They don't know the Bible. They just want to say I love Jesus, pass out sandwiches. <laughs> You know, yeah, pass out some ham sandwiches. You know, the, you're a vegetarian. You know the Bible said don't eat pork, right? That's disgusting, ain't it? You're smart. You know John the Baptist was a vegetarian. Did you know that? John the Baptist ate locusts. You know locusts oh, locusts, yeah. Grass up I'm not eating no locusts. Locusts and honey. I can't wait to find some. I ain't eating that. Because you know how he was eating them? <laughs> you don't just eat them. He was baking them. Oh, okay. he was baking them over four, where he was roasting them over the fire. He didn't eat them crunchy. You know, like, you, you, like, you like, like chicken? Chips. You like chicken? You like your chicken crunchy? You don't want it soft? Yeah. That's how you eat those crunchies. So here, I got a scripture. You know I got a scripture for y'all. This is so we can, it's in the Bible that we can work Oh, my right? fault. Go ahead. It's in the Bible that we can eat certain beetles and locusts. Yeah, beetles. You can't eat spiders. There's, yeah. a, there's dietary law in this book. Yeah. You can't eat spiders. You can't eat worms. Because you know, locusts are pretty much the same thing as a grasshopper. Or same, right, right, as a, or same as a cow. That eats. Oh yeah, they eat grass. Yeah. You know, they don't go around eating. <laughs> yeah, you ain't supposed to eat pork. You're not supposed to eat any kind of uh, 
If anything comes out the ocean, it has to have skins. It has to have scales and fins. I mean, that's right. That's right. Hey, you know, you know, you done eating pork now ever since y'all had a oh, real, man. Man. You still eat that's shrimp? You gotta quit shrimp act. next. That's a righteous act that you're you're, you're rehearsing. A righteous right. act. Yeah, well, pork rehearsed that, a righteous act. That pork defiles your body. That's man. right. And then it makes you stink. And check this out. The you know funny man? thing about these people is, said I've been eating pork all my life. Ain't no roll, you know, I'm still alive. Right, I it's eat like, it from the rooter to the tutor. Heart uh, disease, yeah. uh, high blood pressure, uh, health. Don't they put it in candy and pop? Yeah, it's an area, it's in gelatin. Like pop tarts. Why would pop you want to live your life suffering in pain? Why? Skittles. What's the logic behind yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, cause anything made out of gelatin, Gelatin is made out of bones. It's made out of pork bones. Can't consume bones. Cow Starburst. Can't consume bones. If it says on the... Uh, if it got gelatin, it don't, don't mess with it. Nah, that's, you know, that's foul. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Hey, but this is what's going to uh, happen to America, according to the Bible. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. And America is a sinful kingdom, is it not? This is the country that's... 500 billion times worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Got, you got transvestites, transgenders, you got uh, women committing adultery, it's legal to commit adultery. Like I said, there's no Sabbath. The, the country runs seven days a week, nonstop. Yeah, like nope. that day, remember them men out here was running down here, down the street in their panties? Right, there was, there was men. Uh, uh, what if I had my daughter with me? It's a thing for a child. Yeah. Baggy What about my daughter? A bunch of them wearing panties. Yeah. They were wearing nothing but panties then, running down the street. And then the cops are going to harass you because you ain't wearing a seatbelt. But we got men walking around wearing panties. Yeah, he had a little skeeto thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they, they was uh, <laughs> part of it. Baggy I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, that's gay the though. That's, that's they actually. With they use they, they use guys rainbow when there was guys. Yeah, there's a beautiful thing, but when it's defiled, it's no longer beautiful. Yeah, that's crazy. My daughter see that. Like daddy, why is he wearing panties? Why is he wearing panties? I don't want to see no man naked. They teach that stuff on TV too. That's right. Cartoons, cartoons, SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, they got that new get that transvestite cartoon. Yeah, that's that's. They got another one. Degrassi, I think. That's a bomb. 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 You might as well just go down the street because you want to read scriptures that you ain't going to like. But let me ask y'all a question. Do you do you say thank you, Jesus? I don't believe in Jesus. I can die. Nah, yeah. No way. <laughs> you probably believe in the Aphrodite Jesus or something. Like that. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I don't know. I know you, a lot of you girls are pagans. But do y'all know who runs Hollywood? Jews. There you go. <laughs> the so-called Jews, they run Hollywood. And they're the ones that make all these cartoons with transsexuals in them. Okay. Well, yeah, we're. Huh? I can't hear you. So you're preaching against the Jews. No, Jews are a foul. Oh, no, let me finish. 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 Holly, Hollywood uh, molds popular culture. Hollywood, they the ones who tell you what to like, and they tell you what to buy, they tell you what to wear, and you listen, okay? They, and they tell you to be a homo, you're gonna be a homo. They tell you to commit adultery, you commit adultery. They try to get Dave Chappelle to wear a dress. Right, <laughs> hear that? They, Dave Chappelle brought out the truth on them Jews. And he said that they try to make, make they make all the male actors wear a dress. That's, you know why, they, that's why they ruined Mel Gibson's career. Cause Mel Gibson got drunk one, one night and spilled the beat. He spilled the beans on them devils. Now they're trying to ruin Gary Oldman's career. Cause Gary Oldman was, you know who Gary Oldman is? He's a famous actor. He played Dracula and Bram Stoker's Dracula. He played all kinds of movies. They're trying to ruin his career cause he simply stated the fact that Jews control Hollywood. Not only do they control Hollywood, they control the news. They control the United States government. The NFL. The NFL. Who's the commissioner of the NFL? Who's the commissioner of the NBA? Who who owns the Federal Reserve? Do y'all know what the Federal Reserve is? It's not owned by a single person. I know that. But it's owned by a, a board of who? A so-called Jew. Well, you're who's the name? Name all the board of Jew. You know who the Rothschilds are? The Rothschilds.
Rothschilds. Who's the Rothschilds? That's conspiracy theory. I know that. Oh, the Rothschilds. So the Rothschilds don't exist. That's a family that's worth over 500 trillion dollars. Rothschilds, Rockefeller. Everybody knows who. Yeah, the Rothschilds. 500 trillion dollars. Wow. You ever watched a debt clock before? You ever see the debts of these nations when they There goes Prince Harry. Who are they owed to? They do look like Prince Harry. Banking families. Let's say banking families. Banking families. Hello, Harry. <laughs> hey guys, here's a scripture. This is Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works. Listen. Y'all gotta listen. Y'all ain't paying attention. I know thy works. Listen, listen, listen. And tribulations and poverty. But thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. So the so-called Jews that say to Israel, they're the synagogue of Satan. Okay, they control the earth. To all of you, you're all good. They call y'all good. Unless you're a so-called Jew. Are you a so-called Jew? I'm not, not sure what's up. Oh, you're not sure. <laughs> well, you would know if you was, okay? Because you, you would be calling us goy. You'd be spitting at us, okay? Because that's what they do. You know over there in Israel, they spit on Christians, right? Yeah, sure. don't get, if they find out you're a Christian, they'll gather around you and start spitting on you. They, they like to run little Palestinian kids over with cars for fun. You ain't heard about Israel? They just dropped off. Uh, they 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 fucking the Palestinians up right now as we speak. Shooting missiles on them, blowing little children up, blowing their little arms off of them. I saw some videos you guys on that. Israel or anti-Israel? We're, we're, the, we're the real Israelites. They're not Israelites. Anton. They're, they're liars. Wait, wait, wait. Anton. I've seen you guys on TV. Anton. You specifically. Anton. We're anti against those Israelis. They're devil worshippers. Those Jewish. You know they call themselves Jewish. They wish. Where's it in the Bible, Jewish? Is it, well, gonna, check this out. The Bible. <laughs> you know? Hey, give me a Matthew. Uh, I got another one. I'm gonna get that what one. You got? Give this Matthew, is Zechariah uh, 9 and 6. Go. go give Matthew go. 15. Matthew 15. 24. There. You get that? <laughs> 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 All right, <it's> all good. <laughs> what, what is your tripod? <laughs>